Hey you guys, me Adam Deshaun with another video. So this video is not going to have anything to do with nursing. This is going to be just something that I just really wanted to talk about in a video just because I feel like I can really give some good advice on this topic. Those of you guys who have followed me for a while know that I have struggled with my weight. Um, I probably, I know I've talked about it throughout the years. Um, go back, I, I made a video a few years ago saying, you know, how I lost a hundred pounds. So this is something that I really struggle with and I think a lot of people struggle with. So I'm gonna make a video on it. Ooh, my hair frizzy. Um, about like how to maintain a diet, like um, when you're out to eat or you're eating out, right? So, and I, I'm hesitant to say diet because I believe that really effective and sustainable weight loss is not a diet, it is a lifestyle change. But I'm gonna just say diet for algorithm purposes, you know? So don't come for me in the comments about dieting, okay? So the first, like, if you guys are going to a restaurant or going to eat out with friends, you can go by these things. Now, I am an advocate for you gotta live. You know, I typically live by, you know, 80% of the time I try to do a good job on my eating and exercising, but then I leave room for that 20% where, you know, if I'm going out with friends or on the weekend or with my boyfriend, I try to be, I try to do well the majority of the week. So therefore I can splurge or kind of do, um, or kind of eat what I want on the weekends or whenever, you know, everything in moderation, you guys. So now I'm an advocate for that, but if you have been doing badly all week and you really, and you're going to a restaurant with friends or people that you're going out to eat, you, going out to eat, you still want to eat, but these are just some tips that can kind of keep you in a good caloric range, okay? So the first one that I would suggest you guys look at the menu before you get to the restaurant. Now this is one that I do all the time. I look at the menu, I get in my head what I'm going to order because something about once you get to the restaurant, the waitress gives you the menu, everybody around you starts talking about what looks good, what sounds good. You kind of will get a little, you kind of will deviate from what you said you were gonna do. A lot of times I don't even, X, I don't even take a, a menu from the waitress just because I don't even want to tempt myself with the, um, with even just going with diverting outside of what I already know I'm going to get. So absolutely, absolutely look at the menu before you get to the restaurant so you can have a idea, a really firm idea of what you're going to order from the restaurant. Number two, so be mindful of the beverage that you choose. Now, I know I used to order a Coke, right? That was my thing, I love Coke. Um, but I would be, I kind of started to notice that like I was drinking a lot of calories. And you know, at restaurants, they're constantly refilling, constantly refilling. So when you, you can be really um, just absentmindedly just drinking a lot of your calories. So now I do typically water. If I'm really wanting something, um, there was uh, like like something like I don't I ha I don't drink sweet tea, but I ordered like a Coke Zero or a Diet Coke, something with very low glycemic and very low sugar, so or no sugar at all. So I can really be mindful of what I'm drinking because you can drink just as many calories during your meal than you eat. So just be mindful of your beverage. Number three, don't get an appetizer at all. Now, but if you do get an appetizer, you can, so what I do most of the time, um, if I just really want an appetizer or people are, or, or if we're sharing an appetizer, um, like the prime example for me, like if we do, if we go to a restaurant, nine times out of 10, um, most restaurants have like chips and dip or chips and queso. What I'll do is ask the um, waitress if she can just, instead of me eating tortilla chips, can she bring me out a few sticks of celery? You know, that kind of, um, so I'm not eating so many of those tortilla chips, right? Um, depending on what kind of diet you guys know, I've been doing keto. So um, I'll just do celery sticks, celery sticks with queso, celery sticks with the salsa. So that can um, be done. I've never had an issue with that. So just, you can also be mindful about that with appetizers. So the fourth thing, Kind of, kind of piggybacks off of the third thing is don't be afraid to ask for um, modifications for for your food. If you see something like a salad, but it's got a lot of like extra 
fatty bacon or dressings and stuff, ask for modifications. I've never had an issue with anybody saying no, unless it was something that was already like pre-made or something. I've never had an issue asking for modifications with meals. You know, if you want a different dressing or if something comes with fries, you know, maybe ask for um, a broccoli or a vegetable. Or, you know, if something comes with cheese on top, say, ask, can I get it with no cheese? So. I always ask for modifications. If there's absolutely nothing on the menu that I see is healthy for me or, or it is, is going to be within my glycemic thing, I always ask for modifications and I've never really had an issue. Now, the last thing that, that I think is absolutely imperative, when you're done eating, if you still have leftovers and or you don't want it, box it up immediately or have the waitress take take it away. Especially if you're gonna be there for a while and kind of sit and talk with your friends, get this food out of your face because what happens is that we start to absentmindedly start eating and peeking at the food even though we're done. So let's say you have an appetizer and you know they bring your food out, you're done with the appetizer. If there's if you don't want the appetizer anymore, have the waitress take the appetizer away. Or if you want to keep it, have her immediately box it up. That's going to deter you from just absentmindedly eating the food that you really don't even really want. You're just doing it because it's there. If I'm done with my entree, if I'm full, I'm not going to eat any more of it. If I don't want it, I'll have the waitress immediately take it or I'll just have her box it up really quickly. Just so I can get it out of my space, I'm not absentmindedly eating just excess calories that I really don't even want. I'm just eating because they're there. So those you guys, those are my tips for di eating out on a diet. Uh, if you guys like more videos like this, please let me know. And also comment below, what are some hacks that you guys do while eating out at a restaurant that kind of keeps you, keeps you sane, keeps you, um, what's the word? Keeps you um, accountable. That's what I'm thinking about. Keeps you accountable for um, you maintaining your diet. Thank you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Adam Deshawn. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, please hit the little notification bell because people aren't seeing my videos and I want you guys to be aware of all the content. Thank you guys. Happy nursing and bye-bye.